Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your April 2021 monthly tarot reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading, Leo, and pull your overarching energy or message for the month. So what do we have for Leo? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Leos, thank you. April 2021, overarching energy is, oh, two of cups. I'm sure I had something similar for you in one of the readings, one of the monthly readings for um, March. So it might well be something that's carrying over from March here at Leo. Let's pull another card. What do we have for Leo, please? Angel Spirits Guides message for our lovely leos thank you interesting i had the same thing for aries wait two of cups is wait it might well be something that you're waiting for or you've been waiting for here leo Okay, I'm going to pull four cards, roughly works out as one card per week, though divine timing and all that, some of you are at different life stages, so the messages may overlap, and then we'll clarify, go deeper into the message, and it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you as always. Okay, first card out, we've got the tower. Queen of Wands, there's the Aries energy can also be you, male or female. We have the, ni the Nine of Cups, wow, wish fulfillment. And the Knight of Swords, very nice, Leo. Okay, let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Leo, thank you. Message for Leo, message for Leo. Okay, let me clarify the cards on the table for Leo, please. Angels, Spirits, Guides. And it will be April 2021, thank you. Starting with this tower. Starting with this tower. Okay, so I have the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles here, Leo. Page of Pentacles. The star. <laughs> oh my goodness, two cards literally linked with each other, which both contain wish fulfillment. And we have the Nine of Wands, Leo. Look at this, your ruler, the sun. Bottom of the deck. I'm going to get one more card for this tower. Let's clarify this tower. I just want to be sure what I'm feeling here. Let's get another clarifier for this tower, please. Oh, right. I'm just taking the one that's turned up. And I've got the King of Pentacles again. And the one that's under that is the Knight of Wands. Two King of Pentacles. Hmm. And I'm going to clarify this Two of Cups. Let me get the other deck. Let's clarify this Two of Cups, please, for Leo.
let's clarify this two of cups for leo please angel spirits guide thank you april 2021 okay so <laughs> i've got the wheel of fortune with the with the ten of cups ten of cups for me i always call it the rainbow of blessings card it always feels so beautiful Oh, wow, Leo, it seems for some of you, somebody wants to go to the next level here in terms of commitment, relationships, even marriage. Hmm. Uh, the Two of Cups, it can be the beginnings, of, generally it can be the beginnings of a new relationship, but it can also be um, next level energy, an offer or an invitation um somebody expressing their love their desire kindred spirits um with the two of cups you feel like you know there's mutual attraction it's a partnership <laughs> a bond between two people and for some of you it feels they're with the wheel of fortune they want to step into the next level of cycle because we're going from the two of cups to the ten of cups which is the the rainbow of blessings the uh, blissful relationship the happy ever after they want the long-term commitment relationship uh, for some of you it could be in the form of a proposal very beautiful energy leo um, there could be some kind of proposal coming your way <laughs> um, because the wheel of fortune is essentially a bit it can be about life cycles it is about um you know, one cycle coming to an end and another one starting. You know, it feels for some of you that this, this heralds the next level in terms of a relationship here. Um, and it feels it's destiny. It feels like you're ready. Uh, the timing is right. Maybe there's an energy of somebody wanting to get the timing right as well. But expansion, growth, good luck, good fortune... Uh, it's a gift. This is a gift energy from the universe. Blessings energy. The time is right for this Ten of Cups to come into your life. So it definitely feels for some of you that a relationship has the potential to go to the next level here. It's interesting that I'm getting wait. You might be wanting to wait or the other person might be wanting to wait. It might well be for some of you that you're wanting to give it some due consideration or think about something, um, which, you know, is not a bad thing. I mean, it definitely feels for some of you that there is great growth, expansion to do with a relationship here. It feels very, very beautiful indeed. And, you know, the, the King of Pentacles sometimes seen as head of household energy male or female energy somebody who's very successful who contributes to you know the household income and you know works hard uh, provide you know helps provide a stable home family you know this somebody who is dependable somebody who is reliable somebody who is solid stable secure And the King of Pentacles can be offering you something. It could be a Taurus. There's two Taurus energies here. Um, or Virgo, Capricorn. I mean, it, it can be the energies of just somebody who represents that. It feels like it's a person because they've come out twice, male or female. And they're just wanting to go for it, Leo. I mean, you know, they're wanting the change. I don't see this tower as a negative thing. They want the commitment. They want the next level of a relationship. They want, you know, stability, security to build something for the long term. Marriage, long term commitment. Um, if you haven't already moved in together, there's definitely this energy of moving in together, setting up home for the long term together. This is a long term energy, long term commitment. Um, and again, this Knight of Wands is an energy of just going for it, you know. Somebody just wants to go for it now. This tower just represents the ending of one phase and moving into the next, the tearing down of the old and wanting to build something solid, stable, secure for the future. And that's what I'm seeing for you. I don't see this tower as a negative thing. So 
Knights always bring change and I've got two knights in this reading and you have the the knights the go-getting knights the knight of wands the knight of swords the 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 drive the impulsiveness the desire the passion the resoluteness to just go for something now it's a green light energy so I'm definitely feeling for some of you there is an opportunity to go to the next level of a relationship and it feels like make some kind of long-term commitment this queen of wands i see as you i mean generally i see this as an aries but um i i definitely see this as you leo male or female energy but it feels like you're giving something some consideration you know this page of pentacles is looking deeply studying that pentacle giving it some deep thought analyzing the possibility of what this could be so this is where I do feel that you are giving yourself some time and space to consider something or the other person is giving themselves some time and space but I definitely see this you doing this as well um, this is all about planting new seeds for future growth so is this something that I want I really need to consider the possibility of what this means for me you know it feels very beautiful it really does this oh my goodness leo i mean do i i mean look at those cards the star is pure optimism fulfillment uh renewal energy you're on the right path you are absolutely on the right path and this is a blessing energy you are being blessed you are being guided um it feels in this energy, you know, you see those stars, there is definitely something written in the stars here, especially with the Wheel of Fortune. It feels like this is meant to be. Um, certainly with the Nine of Cups as well. I mean, you aligning to exactly where you need to be. This is something that brings you great happiness, fulfillment, achievement. It can also be a celebratory energy as well. So there could be some celebration here or considering some celebration you know with the page of pentacles and the star it feels like you're you're really thinking what will this make me happy and considering the possibility of this you know the pages are kind of like the learners the curiosity of this and it definitely feels obviously going to the next level it's it feels like a bit of new territory for you so you are just studying is this really for me you know, uh, do I want to plant these new seeds? And I'm definitely feeling this energy of, because the Queen of Wands is somebody who takes calculated action. They connect to who they are, their intuition, their instinct, and understand from what their instinct is telling them, what they want to go for. So again, I definitely see this energy of, of, of you making your mind up here, studying something, the possibility of something, and it's to do with what's going to make you happy. Is this path for you? It feels like this is a blessed path here, a blessed path to happiness. It really is. I mean, that's what those cards are saying. It's the wish coming true, the heart's desire, both of those energies. Um, so the Nine of Wands, there could be a little bit here where there is an energy of holding back. I mean, the Nine of Wands can be... Somebody... It, is the, it can be a card of somebody who is has gone through a past journey they've amassed nine wands the journey is about to complete and there's progress available to them they're wondering whether to go for something you know that knight of swords driven ambitious energy uh going for something you know uh clarity so i definitely get in this energy there is just a little bit of holding back maybe considering if you're ready to step into the next phase, next level. Because this is the past journey with the Nine of Wands. And I mean, sometimes it can talk about past experiences as well, Leo, that might just make you consider or hold back a little bit to give yourself time to get clarity in terms of what you really want and if you really want to go for something. Because the Knight of Swords is a card of progress, swift progress, making your mind up, getting clarity, finding direction, 
you know, let's go for this, you know, it's that kind of energy. So it just feels like there is a little bit of time here where you're either looking at how far you've come and considering if this next phase of the journey is for you. And that's what I'm getting with that nine of wands. It's just an energy of considering on making your mind. It definitely feels like making your mind up here. It doesn't feel like a negative energy here. It feels more to me like you're just wanting to make your mind up and make sure. Because there's definitely an energy of a new adventure starting. Um, starting some kind of new adventure. And the old adventure coming to a close. Um, so I definitely feel for some of you that you will become clear in terms of which way you need to go. The sun energy is being clear, everything becoming clear, illumination. You know, it's a card of spiritual growth as well, you know. Whatever past experiences have taught you, it feels like you're becoming clear in terms of where you need to go. You know, that child looks innocent, but he's full of experience, wisdom, knowledge. Um, he's come through obstacles, the, the wall, coming through the other side of a situation. So any kind of light reservation that you have, it feels for some of you that you're becoming clear in which way you need to go. The, that that child knows what they want and what they're going towards and how to get there you know there is full illumination there and we have the sunflowers which represent abundance growth success uh, vitality positive energy feel good so the sun is a card of celebration again celebration celebration joy happiness feel good energy wow leo i mean it feels like an exciting time for you most definitely so i'm going to pull a final card Final message. The other thing, Leo, there may be practical reasons why you just need to wait a bit, you know, um, whether there is some distance or whether there is, uh, you know, practical things that you need to sort out before you do this. I mean, that can sometimes be that energy too. But nevertheless, I feel that this is next level energy. It could be you know you wanting to propose or them wanting to propose or make some next level commitment here it feels very beautiful final message for leo please final message for leo please thank you april 2021 okay so we have three cards okay <laughs> we have frog stepping into your power don't take a back seat in your sto story it's time to step up we have llama soul growth yeah interesting growth is never easy have faith and trust in the journey <laughs> we did talk about new journeys didn't we and ending old journeys so we have kangaroo courage you are being tested have faith and stand in your truth very beautiful energies, Leo. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.